Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Monday, August 5th. I'm Chris Langlois. Before we get to your top stories, we'll get your forecast from meteorologist Logan Westrope. How are things looking on this Monday? Hey, good morning, Chris. Not a bad start at all. A little bit on the cooler side. Temperatures are going to be reaching into the mid 80s today. Not so humid, though, compared to this time yesterday. So that is some good news under a mix of clouds and sunshine. What more could we ask for? Maybe a stray shower to the south and west of our viewing area. Otherwise, most of us are staying dry for tonight. Temperatures dropping into the mid 60s under a Partly cloudy sky will track some patchy fog developing later into the evening hours, especially for the morning commute for tomorrow. Your seven day forecast things are looking unsettled, especially by the time we hit Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. A series of cold fronts providing us with some showers and thunderstorms that we'll have to track and keep an eye on. Then things start to clear up by the time we hit Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Highs are going to be into the lower 80s. Also not as humid as well, Chris. All right, thank you, Logan. A travel alert to tell you about for drivers in one part of Lackawanna County. Music Road and Old Forge completely closed at the railroad crossing at 7 this morning. The road will be closed all week until next Monday, August 12th. The railroad company will be replacing the tracks, and the contractor for PennDOT will pave the approaches to that railroad. Gunfire in Lycoming County leads to two people being shot. Police tell us the two people were shot at the Unimart along West 4th Street in Williamsport. It happened last night around 9. No word on the condition of the two victims. Investigators have not said if they have any suspects after that shooting. A Scranton man is killed and four other people are still recovering this morning after a deadly wrong way crash in Lackawanna County. The crash happened early Sunday morning on Interstate 81. Police say 51 year old Joseph Ayers died after he entered the southbound lanes going north. That caused a chain reaction crash near Dunmore involving six other vehicles. And of course, if you'd like to follow our top stories throughout the day, you can always do that at our website, pahomepage.com.